Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Andrew Lee, a uh, general otolaryngologist, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about salivary gland disorders. Um, when we talk about salivary gland disorders, they can stretch over a broad range of different uh, conditions and, and treatment options. Um, and the way I really break it down for patients is uh, really two big categories being inflammatory conditions and then potentially masses or, or cancers. Um, the most common type of salivary gland disorder that is, is in most patients uh, is really inflammatory. And inflammatory can include infectious, so think about common uh, colds and or viruses that can potentially cause inflammation within the salivary glands, as well as bacterial infections and, and whatnot. Now the most common reasons for those are really, again, like I said, uh, viral infections, uh, part particularly leading to dehydration. Uh, as well as potential bacterial infections, uh, with uh, a good common example being potentially after, say, a dental procedure. Uh, and then the best way to really, uh, again, not just treat, but also prevent uh, these blockages is just really good hydration. So really staying hydrated throughout the day. Um, occasionally, we'll need antibiotics, depending, again, if, if it's truly really a bacterial infection. Um, typically, if it's not improving within uh, a couple days, uh, or if it seems like it continues to get bigger, firmer, more painful, that's really when you want to um, potentially see a, a provider, a ENT, uh, to get a better idea if um, more aggressive measures are necessary. Um, the, the second sort of classification of, of uh, salivary conditions are really your masses in your tumors uh, and potentially cancers. Now, they're fairly rare in general when we talk about in the general population. Most of the, the tumors or the masses that you'll feel um, are things that actually come on uh, what we call asymptomatically. So you you'll might just notice a little bump or a little bump here or there, um, most commonly in what we call your parotid glands, which are in the cheeks. Um, and again, typically, uh, even for those, those uh, tumors, they're usually what we call benign, so not cancerous. For more information about ENT conditions, um, please feel free to visit enthealth.org um, at your convenience.